Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. I almost said happy Monday. With the, with the holiday weekend, I'm thinking today is Monday all day long. But welcome, everybody. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Thanks for joining me. Come on in. Say hello. If you're watching this and you don't see that red live button up there in the corner, that means you're watching it on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, Hi, I'm new. <laughs> I'm watching it on the replay or just let me know where you're from. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. Hello, Betty. How are you? Yes, we're trying not to put hashtag replay anymore. For some reason, now Facebook found out that Facebook kind of doesn't like that anymore. Oh, it's too many things to think about. Hey, Dawn. Hello, Anita. Hello, Barbara. So if you're watching this on the replay, instead of putting hashtag replay, if you could just put, let me know where you're from. That's all. That would be wonderful. Hello, Francine. Hello, Marlene. Hey, Cindy. How are you, Cindy? You've been in my prayers, you and your family. Hello, Donna. How are you? Good afternoon. I hope everybody had a wonderful um, holiday weekend. Here in New Jersey it was the most beautiful weekend High 70s, sunshine, um, we couldn't even ask for more. Yes, Francine, they sure are. <laughs> we just found out. They think that's like um, you're baiting people to say comments if you put, say, hashtag replay. So, um, and there's enough that they think that that's what's going on. Crazy, crazy. Hey, hello, Marlene. Hello, Laura. So just make any comment. <laughs> say, I'm watching it for the first time. There we go. Instead of put hashtag replay, put I'm watching for the first time. This video for the first time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Hi, Betty. Thanks for asking. Hello, gorgeous weather. Yes. Hey, hey, Jersey girl. Barbara Meehan from New Jersey. Where from New Jersey are you? Located. I'm in Sussex County, New Jersey. Hello, Luann. All right. So let's begin. Let me show you what we're working on today, guys. Look at this clock. Isn't this cute? Isn't it? Look at how adorable that is. I believe, I don't really remember. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. I just like the bird on it. And, oh, we have someone here. We have Linda from Michigan. Hello, Linda. I know, Cindy, it's hard to keep up with the rules. We just found out these rules the other day. Our f fancy leader, Tracy from Craft Around the Clock, let us know that. Um, all right, so this is what we're using today. Look at this cute clock with, uh, like, the little bird, right? And But it's very plain for me, right? So um, I've been trying to find some pretty paper to put in the clock dial, right? So um, look what I found. And Barbie from Somerset. Okay, oh, about an hour from here, maybe an hour and a half. Not far, but hello, Jersey girl. Thanks for coming. All right, so I was on Pinterest. Guys, you know, you can fall into the trap of Pinterest and keep scrolling, scrolling, but guess what I found? <gasps> I found it, uh, someone from Etsy, her name, the name of the page is, um, her store is My Porch, My Porch Prints, right? Look what she had. What? Clock dials. Oh my God. And vintage roses. Is this not up more my alley? Hi, Beverly from Texas. Look at that. So we're going to take one of those dials and put it inside and uh, of this uh, clock and make it more shabby chic. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? And then it comes with um, smaller ones. Now, if you find like the pocket watches or if you just you go to the antique stores or flea market that's just trying to get rid of watches and it has the dial on it, get it. And then look, you can just um, put those over the dial and wouldn't they be pretty? So I have no affiliate with her, ladies. Uh, um, I just found her, my porch prints, but I love to support small businesses, um, just like people support my small business. So um, if I can get her name out there, I don't know her name. It's just, it's just my porch prints. I don't know. And um, let me just show you these other things that I printed out. And this is on Etsy. Look at this, ladies. Look at that. It's like an envelope of flowers on them. And those flowers almost look like they're 3D. Aren't they pretty? So I printed those out. And then with those, you know, it comes with, a, you know, a bundle, you know, it comes with a couple of papers. Look at these flowers that you can fussy cut. Hello, Jerry from Texas. Look how pretty those are, right? And they come on all the different sizes. Hey, Edith, thank you for spreading the love and the joy. I so appreciate you. Hello, Norma. And guys, if you can get those hearts going, we still can do hearts. Woo! <laughs> Thank goodness. So um, some of our fancy friends can um, join us. All right. So um, if you're you liking any of this, beautiful papers, yes. It's cool. It's from Etsy. 
and my porch prints. But I found this on, I found some, I don't know if someone else pinned it or whatever, but I saw the clock prints. So I just thought that wouldn't one of these be pretty inside here, All right? I know, Neela, how are you? Hey, Suzanne. All right, so let's get going first. Now we gotta, I wanna, um, I wanna paint this white and then we're gonna put some Pentart. So maybe some, uh, we'll put some of the wax paste on there. All right. Hi, Connie from Virginia, how are you? So like I said, I hope everybody had, nice, wow, everybody had a nice weekend here in New Jersey. It was gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. Couldn't have been nicer. All right, so um, this is just printed on plain old computer paper, guys. This is nothing fancy. So um, I'm not really, I'm not gonna paint in here because I want, I want, I don't wanna mess up the dials by getting some paint on it. So we're just gonna leave that plain. It's light enough, it's gonna be fine. So we're just gonna paint the outside. Now I'm gonna do it in my favorite, Antique White by Pink Couture, Italian Ivory. So let's get going and painting that. All right, so we got it right here. Here we go. All right, so this is Pink Couture is the, the, let me show you. I don't have, let me just show you. This is, in pink, you can find any of my Pink Couture products on um, my link down below, my link tree, all paid products. And this is where you can find Pink Couture. And yes, 10 gives you 10% off your entire order. But this is the decoupage. And, uh, medium. I don't have the jar where the Italian ivory came in because it was almost empty, so I put it in this small little thing, but there you go. So this Paint Couture, if you're looking for Paint Couture, you can find it on all paint products. The, the link is down below if you're interested. It's an antique white. All right, so let's get this painted, but I don't want to mess up those, those arms of the clock. So we're, we're not gonna paint the inside. I don't think it needs to be. And the computer paper is, you know, it's thick enough that, you know, you're not gonna see that shine through. So it's gonna be fine. Hello, Mary Lou. Yes, I'm glad you caught me live too. Glad you're here. Hello. Oh, thank you, Norma. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. Very summery. Today here in New Jersey, it's a little bit warmer. It's in the 80s, so we've got a short sleeves on. I think they say, you know, Memorial Day is almost, you know, you feel like it's the kickoff, the kickoff to summer. So here we go, summer is here. All right, so we're just putting one coat. We're gonna, well, I don't know if we'll, we might need two coats. Now, Paint Couture paint has a built-in primer in it. Um, so if you're afraid that your um, whatever you're putting is on like glass. If it's too shiny, it's not going to stick. Um, you might want to put stick, slick stick, which is my to go to primer. Um, but this is a built in top coat, a uh, built in primer and top coat in it. So if you're using this pink couture, um, you don't need to put anything, you don't need to put the primer on it. Unless you feel more comfortable, you don't want to take any chances, then go ahead and put the primer on it. And like I said, my primer that I like to use, I use to paint furniture, so it's Slick Stick is my to-go-to primer. There we go. I'm trying to, trying to get our little birdie here. Let's get him all covered up. And this is what sold me, the bird on the top. I just think he's so stinking cute. There we go. And you have his little tail there. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? So ladies, let me know what are some of the crafts that you've been doing lately? Or have you just been working on your outside? I would love to know. Are you just been gardening? Um, I've been doing that too. Getting the flowers all ready for outside. But now we're going to start... Can you believe some people were, I saw the other day, people are starting now to create Halloween. What company makes Slick Stick? It's Dixie Bell, Mary Lou. It's Dixie Bell. If you go on my, um, unless there's a Dixie Bell retailer in your area, always support your local retailers in your area. But if not, I do have Slick Stick on my, in my Amazon store. So if you hit my, um, if you want to see what it's all about, sometimes, uh, if you see the product, you know, on a, you know, on a website, it's, you know, you can 
see more what it's all about, if that makes sense. So I do have it in my Amazon store. My link is down below in my link tree. If you open it up, you'll see Amazon and just go in Dixieville. You'll see Dixieville on there. When I was first furniture painting, Dixie Bell was my to-go-to for furniture. It really does well on furniture. Hey, Kim, how are you? So, but I continue continue to love Slick Stick. All right, I'm trying to get into all the nooks and crannies of the little bird. Hey, Debbie Short, how are you? Here we go, and let's see. So I did say that we were only going to do Foodie Friday for the month of um, May, guys, right? Now, I had to miss the last one because, you know, I have people where I'm working on my pantry and they were working here last Friday, so I couldn't do it. So we did the, I did the field trip to uh, Grey Barn Antiques. Um, so I'm going to do one this Friday, but let me know in the comments. Do you still want me to do Foodie Fridays? And you're not going to hurt my feelings if you'd rather just have me craft. <laughs> let me know. Because if you still like Foodie Friday, I can continue to do it. Look at guys how this changes. It just changes the look just by adding the white paint to it. Hoping to use your new ID stamps. Oh, IOD stamps. I know I got my I got my notice from Mara that they are on their way. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, the IOD just came out with a new release of stamps and transfers and inlays and the whole thing. Hello, Joan. How are you? Um, so if you're interested in a new IOD release, please go see my friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Um, and tell her I sent you. So she knows you're, you're a fancy friend. All right, so now let's dry it. But I just, I mean, just like, look at how shabby chic it looks already, just with the white. Hi, little Robin. So for, I ordered transfers. I ordered one of their stamps. I ordered the one with the cherubs. Oh, Luann said yes for the Foodie Fridays and the new recipes. Okay. Please let me know in the comments, guys, if it's yes for Foodie Fridays. I just figured, you know, we craft Monday through Thursday. I just thought that maybe that would be something, you know. And then, you know, now that it's getting warmer, I can even grill stuff, guys. Wouldn't that be fun? It doesn't have to be in my kitchen. We can grill. Show you my, my shish kebabs that I make, or I make these pizzas on the stove. Patricia says yes for Foodie Fridays. I mean, I make pizzas on the grill. I made them yesterday. They came out so good. I make them on little pita breads. They are delicious. Norma she says yes. All right. We, so everybody, we will keep continuing doing Foodie Fridays. So we're going to have it this Friday, guys. Neela says yes for Foodie Friday. Foodie Friday with my fancy friends. It is. Cute. All right, guys. So there we go. So doesn't it make it already looks more vintagey, shabby chic? Already in the white. Oh, Connie loves her Foodie Fridays. Somebody said something about show and tell. I don't know. I gotta see what that is. I got the adornment stamp waiting for transfers. Yeah, I gotta. The transfers are gonna gonna be a little bit lot while longer for the new ones. But I got some of their old ones, so they they're already in stock. So I got that. Debbie, sure, Foodie Friday. Always up for new recipes. Okay, good. All right, we're going to do Foodie Fridays, guys. We'll keep continuing doing that. I like it, too. Just, just, um, it shakes it up a bit. There we go. So let's put that down. All right, so there we go. So let's see what we're going to pick. Which one? Connie, yes for Foodie Fridays. Yay, thank you, guys. I was hoping you guys were going to say yes, because I really want to continue doing it, because it's fun. I, because besides this, my next love is cooking. So, um, <laughs> and then I kind of get my dinner and whatever made, <laughs> made for Friday. Hello, Maureen. My husband's home. He could be my taste tester. All right. So let me see. All right. So we're not going to use the small ones, but remember guys, these small ones can be, <laughs> oh, Daphne, I love that. Let's eat. <laughs> so these ones, like I said, these can be used for, um, and you, you can find those old watches that they're just trying to throw away. Um, these are pretty too, but these are too small for the clock I have. But I'm loving this one. But this one was a little too small. What I like is there's so many different sizes. 
So depending on what kind of what clock you have, you'll find one that works. Now, so I these two work right here. So I have the Paris and I have the one that says London. I don't know, guys, what do you think? London or Paris? To me, either one. I don't know. Maybe London. It's got more roses on it. Oh, you know what, though? Hmm. Let me see. I don't know. London or Paris. Well, I'm going to cut them back. I'm going to cut them both. You say London, Betty. Let's cut them both out. Let me get my... Oh. My scissors out. There we go. Mary Lou London, Connie London, Betty London. I know, I know. Right with the roses on it. It looks prettier with the roses, right? With the pink roses, I should say, right? I think I like in London too. London, all right. London it is, ladies. We're gonna do the London. London it is. And we'll keep we'll keep the Paris. Now, this is not, these are not just for clocks. These are gonna look really great when you're doing a decoupage project. Um, even if you're only gonna use half of it, you know and just put half on the side of something like the clock's coming out of there. Oh my goodness, thank you for the stars. That is, oh, mwah. thank you so much. Um, I appreciate the stars, who said those? Oh, Luann, thank you, my sweet friend. Thank you for the stars. The pink rose below my house is all French pavilion. Okay, Francine, we are, we are going with the pink today. We're gonna go with the pink. But let me do these. Guys, I got these from Timu the other day. Did you see them? And they're really cute because they look very vintage -y. Let me show you. All right, can you see those? And they come in silver, gold. These are the um, antique gold. And boy, can I tell you something? They are really, they are really, um, they are really sharp. And they weren't expensive, two dollars and change or something like that. And they're really sharp. All right, so we're just cutting this out just like so. There we go. And I'm not going to de use decoupage medium for this. And the reason being is because this is on computer paper. Now, I had some times where I put decoupage medium on computer paper. And, you know, it gives it sort of like a warped kind of a look. And I kind of wanted to keep it straight down, guys. So um, we're going to be using um, a glue stick instead. Cause you know when you're on paper, if you take if you make paper wet, how it gets those wavily, wavy, wavy, wavy little lines or whatever, and it's kind of like a warp kind of a look. Um, I'm afraid that this is what's going to happen with this, so I don't want to do that. So we're just going to use now. I, my my good friend from Grace from the Comfy Nest, she's she is amazing junk journalist. So I called her. I said, what is, what do you recommend? This is what she recommends, Scotch Permanent Glue Stick. And boy, it's permanent. Permanent, when you put it down, it's not going anywhere. So I'm not gonna have to be afraid that this is gonna come off. So this is what we're gonna do it with. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a, you gotta make a hole right there in the middle and then make a line right up here so then you can fit it around the, um, the handles of the watch. Where did I get the clocks from? I got the clock from, okay, either two places. I am not sure. I, I think it was I think it was Hobby Lobby, but it was a while ago. I'd say a year ago, about a year ago. Either Hobby Lobby or Michael's. It's either one of those, but it was about a year ago. So, sorry. I just don't really remember. But it was about a year, a year ago. Okay, so. So, you want to make a, a snippet that, like that. So you want to go like this, so then you can put it around your clock. And then right in the here has that little circle right there. And you kind of want to make a cut in there. So I'm going to just take my scissors and just like that. Make a little hole to wrap around this part right here. So I'm just making a little hole just like that. And we're going to put it down. And let's, is that going to fit? See what I mean? And then you're going to just slide it in there. But I just want to make sure before I glue it, put the glue on there, that that's going to go away. Oh, i got to get a little, got to cut it a little bit more. There we go. They do. They have one close to this Dollar General. Well, there you go, ladies. Go check Donald Dollar General out. Um, I don't even know. I bet you even um, maybe Dollar Tree would have something close to, you know, by using this paper, 
it's really just going to put your clock up a notch. All right, I just need need this cut out the hole just cut out a little bit a little bit more in the on the middle here so i'm just gonna go around need the need need it a little bit wider Ugh, i need stronger glasses ladies hey margaret how are you margaret from idaho how you doing sweet friend thanks for joining today i hope you had a nice memorial day weekend thanks for coming on everybody and guys, if you do me a favor, like I said, get those hearts going so we can see if some of our fancy friends can come on. Hi, Irma. How are you, Irma? You have been doing amazing work, I have to tell you. Um, ladies, if you're new to the page, we have a group page that we all go. Well, well if, you, if, you join, if, you, if you belong to the group, it's yesterday's fancy friends. And you can go and post all your projects that you do. And um, Irma's been posting so many beautiful things and I appreciate you um, sharing them with us. So um, it's yesterday's Fancy Friends. All you have to do is go and join that I just have to approve you. Um, only because, you know, sometimes we might get, you know, a, um, you know, like they call it troll in there. And we don't want anybody, um, anybody like that in our group. So you just go and join and then I just have to um, approve you. And then you can go and you can um, post anything that you like to do, even if it's not crafting. If you like to garden, if you like to bake, if you like to cook, post anything that you make. And, and uh, I would love that. There we go. All right. That should work. All right. So now we're just taking our glue stick. So like I said, this is the one that I'd like to use. Hello, Urban Diverse. How are you? Thanks for coming on today. All right. And when you now, when you join, if you go to join my group, um, it's going to ask you for your email address. And don't worry, I do not send out. You people who have already signed up for my email. You have noticed I haven't even sent out anything yet. Um, I'm gonna, I, you know, I just use that for like if I know something's on sale or if I got some news to tell you or if something happens at, that I am off of Facebook. Um, I just need a way to get in touch with all my fancy friends and an email will be wonderful. So that's why it's asking you if you belong to, I'm just saying fancy friends. That's why it's asking you for your email address. So if you can give me your email address, that would be great. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Had a lot of clocks. 75 us last week on their orange ticket items. Dana, was that Hobby Lobby? Was that Hobby Lobby? I think. Where did I get my clock from? Either it, My clock was either Hobby Lobby or it was Michael's. Either one of them. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Yes, Irma, your stuff is just, it's amazing. It's just amazing. So I appreciate you sharing it all, sharing them all the time. And ladies, I'm so sorry, you know, that sometimes I I try to get um, make a comment 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 on each and every one that you post, and sometimes um, things get away from me, and I don't. But don't think I haven't seen them because I have to prove them um, when they get on there. So um, I just thank you for doing that. Woo. Okay, so then you just there we go. That guys, this glue is super duper. Hold on, super duper strong. Oh, see how it wants to stick already? I'm telling you, so you don't have to worry. Hold on. Okay, let me just get it off my my lazy Susan. There we go. All right, so now I'm just pushing it down. Just want to make sure it's coming together. Just want to make sure that the twelve is at the twelve, and the one's on the one. There we go. And then just push it down. There we go. I'll wait till you see, guys. It's just the paint and this. And that is it. And this is, with this, this is, it's not going anywhere. Look, guys. Look how cute. It's just the paper. You love my headband? Team you. <laughs> oh, I got some hair sticking up there. Team you, I got them on. They have really great headbands. They do, and they really don't hurt your head. All headbands are not the same, ladies. It, I know well. I know it well. Um, some of them really hurt your head. 
I have not purchased one on Team U that has hurt my head. If anything, they're the best ones I've ever felt um, on my on my scalp and on my head. So if you're interested in headbands, get them on Team U, and they're only like $2 a piece. All right, so after you take your, if you put it on, then you want to just take your fingers and just run it, run your fingers on the edges just like that. And if you see any air bubbles, just press it with your fingers to get the air bubbles out, just like so. And then look, guys. I mean, what a difference that makes already. Look, just the paint and that inside, right? Was it an expensive clock? No, I wouldn't buy it if it was expensive. <laughs> I'm very frugal, guys. I'm very frugal. Hobby Lobby, everything 75 cents off the orange ticket. Making, making room for... No. I don't want to say the Christmas word yet. I haven't even gotten there for Halloween. What is the name of the glue? Scotch Permanent Glue Stick. Scotch Permanent Glue Stick. I should have it on my Amazon link. Guys, and if you don't mind, if you're gonna purchase on Amazon, would you would you mind using my link? I just get a little percentage of what, it costs you nothing extra, but I do get a little percentage of whatever you buy, and that's what helps me do, uh, do what I do. Um, that's how I get paid. <laughs> that's how I get paid by affiliate links. And that's how I get to keep doing what I'm doing when I go out and buy my products and all that kind of stuff. So, I, and I do notice that you, that you have been, people have been using it. So I just want to say thank you. So there we go. And even if you're not buying glue stick, if you're just going on to purchase dog food, use my link. <laughs> so anyway, so look how cute. All right. So, um, let's put, let's put the battery in. And then we're gonna put, I'm gonna show you the waxes and we're gonna pick out a wax to put. All right, uh, what time is it? All right, so let's get the time going. Uh, here in New Jersey, it's two o'clock. And there we go, and now it's working. Can you see the, the second hand? There we go, and now it's working. Look how cute, guys. <gasps> it was going to be cheeky, ask if you would be kind enough to send me one. Send you what? What would you like me to send you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, how great that is. I love a good bargain. I love a good bargain. Love. Guys, did you see yesterday my son surprised me and bought me a grab bag from, from Michael's? <laughs> I was so thrilled. Well, he sent me a picture from Michael's and he said, Mom, I'm buying this for you. I'm like, what? I've seen them. I don't know. What is that? And, um... And I did a live opening it up. It was really, really cute. Really, really cute. If I can send you one of these, I don't have a clock. I don't have the clocks. They were Michaels or um, Mike. I only, you know, I only bought one. It was Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I don't sell them. All right, so let's see. So we have the different waxes. These are by Pent Pentar, guys. I showed a video the other day of um, me working with them, but just let me show you real quick. So these are the wax paste. Um, this is, this one is really pretty. I love this one. And it's called, oh my gosh. Oh, this is just a, is this forest green? Uh, forest green. This one is the gold. This one is really pretty. This is the rose gold. Oh. Rose gold. This is red. Now red and the rose gold are totally different if you can see. Now the red red is not like a um is not not like a red red like a um you know like a like a flag red, like a fourth of July flag red. It's more has more of a pink to it. Okay, and this is called this is uh this is honey gold which is really pretty. I love the rose gold, me too. This one is brass. This one's really pretty. And this one is just um, plain green. But let me show you the differences in the greens. Okay, one is more of a fluorescent, one's more of a, like a forest green. And then we have copper. Look how pretty the copper is. Okay, so um, I'm thinking maybe, um, at that I don't know maybe some rose gold you want to try the rose gold guys I don't know let's try the rose gold um and you know what's the worst if this cures like a farm red yeah let me show you you know what why don't I just show you the difference let me show you I must have um let me see what I got 
must have a piece of hold hold on guys i can show you in a minute let me show you what it is let me just get a let me just get a um a mold i have tons of molds here um when i have nothing to do i make myself a box of molds crazy right but i got nothing to do what do you do you make yourself a box of molds all right let me just find a mold real quick and then we just could put something on it and i could show you the difference okay so i got this little mold right here this this is like a this is from a sunflower mold and let me just show you the difference in the reds now remember this is not painted this is just the casting resin amazing casting red and we're gonna get one of those piece that was glued to angie this is on she's on etsy this, these are just printables. These are down, download printables. And here, let me show you real quick, guys. There we go. My Porch Prints. And she's even got some tags and stuff like that. But it's My Porch Prints. P-R-I-N-T-S, Porch. As in front porch. Go on Etsy. She's right there. They're not expensive. Like $2, something, something like that. $2 um, to print, you know, to get the downloads. All right, so let me show you. I'm going to do one in the red, and you can see it's not a, it's not even like a barn red. It's it's um, it's I don't even know. It's not like not like a Christmassy red. It's like a pink to it. Let me just show you. I'm trying not to get my fingers all yucked up with it, but listen, got to get in the trenches, right? There we go. So. This is red. Can you see it right there? Hmm. That's the red. So it's really, it's pretty, but it, we know when it says red, it's when you think of red, that's not what it is. Okay. And then let me show you the, um, where is it? Where's, hold on. Uh, this is that one. Where's the other one? Where did it go? The copper, the bra. Oh, here it is. It was in back of me. Okay. So let's, this is the rose gold guys. And that's what I'm thinking I'm going to use on here. But let's, let me show you what it looks like. Now with these waxes, you only need a little bit. A little goes in a, an unbelievable long way. So when you're using these waxes, and yeah, I think it's going to be the rose gold guys. It's really pretty. And you can even mix and match these. You can use the rose gold and then put gold on, you know, a gold on top of that. So there's the rose gold. See, look how different they look, right? I wish you could sell a non prom. Oh, okay, Angie. Yeah, you don't. You don't have a printer. Hmm, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah, the, I, I don't, I, you know what? Maybe she does sell them already printed out. I just didn't look. You can go on some, um, I have, we, oh, I almost, I'm also an affiliate. If you want to go check out guys, um, digital deco designs, my friend, Kathy, she does both. She does, um, digital, um, which you get, um, where you can download it or you can buy, um, or ones that she, she can mail out to you. So if you want to go, Angie, if you want to go check her out, she's also down below is my affiliate link and it's digital deco designs. And, um, she, you know, you can order and she'll ship out ones that are already done. What kind of paper do you have? This is just, my paper was just plain old computer paper, plain old computer paper. So, um, that would be a good thing for you to go to check out. She does both. She'll do the, on her website is the digital or um, ones that she will print out for you on rice paper. So Angie, digital deco designs and her, if you go down to my link below, if I would love if you use my link, um, you open my link and you'll see digital deco designs. If you got a problem, you can't find something, ladies, just let me know. Private message me and I can help you out with anything. All right. So this, the, the, the red is definitely a no. The red, I'm thinking, you know what? I like red, but I'm not like a red, red, red person, even for um, Christmas. But that would be a pretty red to use, like if you're doing ornaments and stuff. All right, so let's use this. All right, and let's just put it, what I'm thinking is just putting them right around there. Name of printer you have. I have a brother's printer. Betty, the same thing. If you go on my, um, if you go, 
to my Amazon store and in in my office supplies it'll show you the it'll show you the exact printer I have it's a brother printer brother printer there we go all right so I'm taking the one that's the rose guys the rose color and then I'm just and you just want to hit the high points very pretty very pretty so we're just hitting the high points just like that Now my my printer is um, is a laser printer, but um, with this you don't need a laser printer. You can use an inkjet printer because you are not putting a top coat on it, so you don't have to worry about it smearing. If that makes sense, um, because you put it down with the you put it down with the glue. So you're not putting anything on top. If you're using a inkjet ink jet printer, I think though if you spray, somebody says hairspray on it afterwards or something like that, and then you go to put a top coat on, then it won't smear. But you, um, but with this, an ink an ink jet would be fine because you're not. I'm not putting any top coat on top of it. It's totally fine. All right, and I'm just going around the edges, just like that. Now I'm not sure the bird. What I'm going to do with do with Mr. Bird on the top. I don't think I want to make him pink too. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll make him a little, I don't know what I should do with Mr. Bird. But let me just show you guys. Can you see, look how pretty that, that rose gold looks on there. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So pretty. But I don't know if I want to make the bird gold. I mean, pink. I don't know. Lady, should I make the bird pink? Or rose gold? I'm saying pink. Um, well, maybe the... Oh, I don't know if I want to make them green. Uh, well, let's just do them pink, too. What the heck? I don't have blue, Betty. I know. Somebody came... My friend Mara came on the day. She goes, the other day, Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. She goes, do you have the blue? I said, I didn't buy it. I didn't get a blue. I didn't get a blue. Uh, but you know what? There's a lot of green. There is a lot of green. Can you see in the leaves and stuff? So let's just hit it with a lot of little green. If I don't like the green, all I have to do is hit it with another color and we can just cover it up. It's not a big deal. Or if you wait till it's a cure, if you wait for it to cure a couple of days, you paint over it and do it all over again. No big whoops. Do you have a patina? No, Rose, I don't. I don't. I don't. All right, so let's just try this green. All right, let's look how pretty that looks. That's a gorgeous green. Now remember, you only need a little bit. You don't need a lot. Let's see. Yes, he looks pretty in the green. Well, now remember, don't hit it with a lot. And you're just hitting the high points. You're just hitting the high points. Let me get him on the back. Can you see? Look. It looks cute. I think I'm going to hit him with the green and then I'm going to hit him with a little bit of um, just a little bit of the bronze just to deepen it just a little bit. Well, and remember, don't put a lot on your fingers, guys, a little bit because you're only trying to hit the high points or otherwise then you 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 but you cover it. You're putting too much on it. You just want to hit the high points. It looks cute with the green. Thank you, Rose. All right, and then, uh, uh, let's see. No, where, no, no, I'm just gonna hit it just with a little bit of gold, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of gold also to around here. So, so you, you can, you don't have to just put one, you can mix and match. Now, if they're down there too much, I just take my little popsicle stick and bring a little up to the top of the, the jar so it's a little bit easier to get to. So you're not taking a lot. See what I mean? You only need a little bit. It goes a long way. I mean, I'll have these these um, waxes forever. Yeah, it looks pretty when I add a little bit of gold. Sometimes it looks pretty when you you add on top. And let me show you there. See the green and the gold? That's pretty. And I'm gonna add a little bit of gold. And I'm just adding it to the right to the inside of here, just so it all comes together. 
but wasn't this a quick and simple project guys it's so easy with those pretty papers oh i can't wait to show my sister she was over here the other day and she saw the clock and she goes oh i like the clock and i didn't tell her i was thinking of doing something else to it but wait till she sees it now <laughs> hello from in we have somebody from indianapolis hello look how cute it looks all right and then i'm gonna want to do a little bit on the other side too hold on all right so let's get the let's get the green we don't need the green anymore and let's just put a little bit of rose gold on the back here too there we go now you do not have to top coat these waxes these waxes will cure on their own um, and FYI, I mean, if you want to, you, you could, but um, you don't have to. They will cure on their own. Give it 24 hours, and they are on there for good. So just an FYI. I'm just going to go a little bit here into the white, just a little bit. And there we go. And a little bit, a little bit of gold on the feet. Good idea. Let's put a little bit of gold on the feet too. I agree. That's a little bit. There we go. You just. All right. And I think she is done. So look at the transformation of a, of a clock. And I'm sure it only cost me a couple of dollars. Hi, Susan. Hey, Kathleen. How are you? Um. And who knows, you know, after I start looking at it for a little while, maybe I change my mind, add a little something more. But just by changing the dial and painting it. Thank you. I love it too, Betty. Thank you, Connie. So let me recap on what I used today, ladies. Like I said, uh, this was just a clock that I got from, um, I don't know, Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's been over a year. And, the, and then I just purchased the dial. The dial prints on Etsy, like I said, look how cute they are. So they're just really pretty, just really pretty. Look at that. Now remember, if you do, if you do um, purchase from my porch prints, could you just let her know I sent you Kim from yesterday's tomorrow's? I'm gonna let her know I did a video using her product. Um, I love to support other people's. Um, small businesses. So just let her know. Kim from yesterday's tomorrow's sent me. But look how, oh, so all different dials. I know, Debbie, aren't they just pretty? And they weren't a lot. They were like $2. I kid you not. And then once you have them, you can print them out. For, once you download them, you can print them out as many as you want. Now, I can't wait to, we're going to do, be doing tomorrow. We're going to be doing a, a, um, a project with these. Look how, these to me look like they are like 3D almost. They are just so lifelike, aren't they? It, they're just gorgeous. And I fussy cut one out before. I wanted to see how they fussy cut and they fussy cut like really easy. <gasps> Look how pretty that looks, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? What? <laughs> Fell out of my hand. <laughs> I have to go get it, but isn't it really pretty? They're, they're totally, they're two different um, downloads though. Um, the clocks are one and these are another, but you can go on her page. She's got a lot, a lot of downloads to, um, that you can pick from if you're, if you are interested. Like I said, I'm not affiliate with her or anything like that. She, I just found her on Pinterest and she had a clock dial and then I went on her page and you know, I'm looking and looking and looking, but there we go. That's my project for today. Thank you everybody for joining me. I so appreciate it. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for just being here and always being so supportive and, and uh, showing me all, all your love. And I and it doesn't go unnoticed. I am humbled by, by it all. I really am. And I appreciate all of you so, so much. I really, really do. So I will be back tomorrow, ladies. Um, I'm not sure what time. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm getting all mixed up with the weeks because yesterday I thought it was Sunday. I think today is Monday. Thank you, Renee. I'm I'm glad you enjoy it. And um, I just hope that I inspire you um, to make beautiful things that you love for your home. That's what I'm here for. I want to inspire you that whatever you make um, for your home, you love. So thank you, everybody.
Thank you for having a thank and have a blessed day. And remember to keep our fancy friends in your prayers. Um, God knows who needs them, all right? And if you would like to be on the Fancy Friends prayer list, if you have a, of a certain loved one or a friend that needs prayers, please, please private message me, and I will let all of our Fancy Friends know and um, uh, send prayers. All right, everybody. Mwah. Blessings, blessings, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, Irma.